right, well, you're, be sure and do your breathing exercise. Take five seconds to reprogram yourself and start practicing doing this on your own. Don't wait for this video to pop up and go, oh, the breathing exercise. What I'd like for you to do is remember to do it three times a day. There are going to be enough circumstances in a day for you to exercise your no and that breathing exercise. You just haven't been identifying the, those opportunities. You see, the first sign of narcissism is how the reaction and how explosive they are to rejection. The word no is powerful shit. Take those five seconds to realign yourself so that you understand the idea in life is to expose toxicity and minimize your risk. What is it you're defending? Let's call it your mental health, for one. Your peace. And physical harm. Warriors, narcissists can't stand to watch you succeed and share your stuff and offer it to others. You see, because in the narcissist's eyes, that's their stuff. And you're supposed to be there for them, not anyone else. And besides, look at me. You didn't get their permission. Sound familiar? You know, warriors, the past narcs feel that they should be the ones receiving any handout because they feel they did time with you. You see, in their eyes, they tolerated you. Therefore, it's a return on investment that's due. You see, it's hard to put yourself in the reprobate mind because you don't think that way. What you have to understand is, make no mistake, when narcissists give gifts, it's a business transaction because it comes, listen to me, it comes with expectations. What makes narcissists dangerous is this. When those expectations aren't met, and, and keep in mind, the goalpost constantly moves. So it's whatever they dream up. You're going to know that you've exposed the narcissist whenever they voice the expectation. Because they'll have these moments where they feel you're just ignoring it. Or you truly are that naive to not know better. And so they gotta, they got to say it. And let me tell you, in conversations, in any conversations, whether you think they're toxic or not, whomever instigates the surrender in this way is the narcissist. The conversation, when it comes to, because narcissists can't agree to disagree, it's got to be a win. Otherwise, they'll split on you. And what I mean by split, foe or friend. And it's going to end. The conversation with narcissists always ends with shame, guilt, and insults. No facts. Nothing to reference. In fact, if you realize a conversation and it's whole, you can throw it right back at them. I hear what you're saying, but is it a lie? Because they'll never contest the truth with facts. They don't have them. This is how narcissists surrender. They're going to sling out the shame. They're going to sling out the guilt. And the insults and the voice goes to a scream. A high pitch, almost scream of rage. But I'll guarantee you this much. Narcissists are going to see their way out. You see, because in a very deliberate way, they created the exit for themselves. 
But understand, they're not ever gonna fuck with you again. Warriors, understanding the animals you're dealing with makes you the ring leader, the ring director. You're managing your own movie. You're gonna be hated by narcissists. You're gonna be praised by your fellow warriors. Narcs get exposed. Listen to me. This is why going into hermit mode is so important. The first six months is utter chaos because most of you are still gonna be in contact with these animals. And so long as you realize as sooner than possible is the best thing is take the high road. It's not a loss, it's a lesson. Call it tuition. For, for many of us at different levels, it got, it got very expensive. But nonetheless, a price needed to be paid for your consequence. You can't run from it. You can't. Your greatest test is, can you let it go? Can you let it, can you walk away? Not from some of it. Can you walk away? What? What exactly is your life worth returning for? Bottom line. Because many of you are going to fail up to the seventh fucking Hoover. And some of you, by God's grace, will have dodged death. Some of you actually seen the gun down the barrel with a dumbass right on the trigger. And you had enough. When you've had enough, that's not a hard question to answer. Those of you wondering, apparently haven't seen enough. I say stay where you're at. You'll receive all the validation you need watching narcissists be themselves. And once you've had enough, these videos take on a whole nother message. Because when you're listening with hurt ears versus healing ears it's a whole different conversation one that's more delicious look after about a year narcissists are exposed even to the narcissists themselves their, their inner circles and they get burnt out with each other look the victimhood card wears out even among their own amongst their own you'll hear narcissists say isn't it about time you share to get off the pot you keep babbling, they, 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 want, they want nothing to do with you. They, the orbiters get impatient with a host because they've been waiting for their turn. See, that's the flying monkeys. That's the ones in the harem closet. And they'll get tired of the main playing them on with breadcrumbs. Look, isn't it about time you got over this? You see, when this happens, this is a time when the narcissist goes smooth off on the harem closet. Because they can't stand for the one they want doesn't want them back. But the pieces of shit that chase them, they're not interested in. The narcissist wants what it wants. And if it hasn't secured ample supply that's even on a level with you, they know karma around the corner you feel me oh look karma don't miss an address mortificatious is real narcissists know it they'll go through many of them little episodes to the edge of in their world yeah e and so close it's why they fear it so damn much and look this happens after about that first year. After about that second year, look, they'll hate you even more, but they're weaker. They'll have aged almost 10 fucking years right, right before your eyes. Because look, having that kind of hate ages you. It doesn't wear well. And what happens is, Within the second year, first year, the narcissists will have accumulated to spite you enough pump and dumps that guess what? Nine out of ten are just like them. So now they're busy is a reason why the Hoover falls off. 
It's not because they found love. Now they're running. Because nine out of ten of the pump and dumps that they try to, to triangulate you with, you see, and then after that first year, they realize, oh shit, they're gone, gone. Now they're pumping and dumping, trying to find the next and secure the next badass supply. And all of this, they get in entanglements. Because nine out of ten of these are at different levels in psychopathy. Some stalk them. Some just looking to kick the ass. Others got others in their harem to come over after them to whip their ass. Girlfriends kicking an ex-girlfriend's ass. You feel me? This is the kind of shit that you're going to act like you're going to suffer from FOMO. Like you missing out on something. Your fear of missing out on shit. See, you spent a lifetime in covens, your own family circles, insane asylums, trying to convince flies that a lump of warm shit ain't got nothing on honey. As a honeybee, you better get your ass busy back to your own kind. You protect the hive. That's your family. And they're very rare. But it sure beats getting involved in folks that thrive in entanglements. Entanglements, they created themselves. And if you ever show your fucking face, they will let you know it's your fault. You made me do it. You knew I was weak. You said you'd love me forever. Tough love's a bitch, isn't it? Warriors never get in the way of the divine delivering a bitch slap unlike no other because you've been given ample opportunities. You've received clearly the same messages the narcissist received to not fuck with you. You received to leave, run. And because of your lack of being obedient, you get some of the fucking ricochet. Shrapnel. And that shit hurts. And let me tell you about reputation destruction. Narcissists don't have one to ruin. It's why they're after yours. All they need to do is do it bad enough that it almost like they're able to clone you and switch places. Warriors, narcissists have always been around since the creation of man, but so have the fucking warnings. It's up to us to do our due diligence, do background checks, that when you blow the bridge up, it means you freeze your credit. You change the PIN numbers on your credit cards. You change banks, change service providers through your phone and your mechanical. Change emails, change phone numbers, and stop toying with acting like how you're gonna justify it. If you just poked holes because you didn't clear your mind with that breathing exercise and now you're having an argument with me right the hell now with justifying why you can't do anything and yet I provided this many solutions and you provided zero but poked holes in every solution then it's time for you to look in the mirror and say how serious are you about your life or am I the narcissist Warriors, you know who you are. You don't have to fake it. Your smile is genuine. Your love destroys covens. And it makes demons pissed because although you can't destroy a demon, you can sure make them jump from host to host.
keep being a pain in the ass to Satanás, evil itself. Narcissists aren't going to stop. They're just going to change skin suits. But it's the same devil. Learn to identify it. Learn how to sidestep it. And if provoked head on, you better learn how to adopt some of these golden nuggets for self-defense. The only way evil can hurt you is for you to welcome it in. Can I get a what what? Now get the fuck out there, don't it? You got this. Look at me. You bless. You know it. <laughs> You're just a little Confucius. You don't know what to do with it. But for now, let's do something together with it. Happy dance. Because <laughs> look, you could have been still lost. Still trying to figure shit out. You remember. <sighs> shit. That sucked. Damn it, man. Get out the race. Let the bums chase the bums. The couch surfers. Let them continue to lie to each other. Let them fiend for the struggle of. While the Father embraces you with real love. Never forget your faith. When the Father's ready, He'll unify us all in one understanding. Follow the love in your heart while you research for the truth. It's never lied to you. And your life only became a wreck because you ignored it to a whisper. Now it's the voice of reason and logic. It's your diplomat. It's a uniform you wear proudly now. And that's worth defending, isn't it? Can I get a hoorah? Can I get a hoorah? <laughs> it's never goodbye, Warriors. Thanks so much for your support. You're all awesome. Stay, stay beautiful. There's not no vessels here with us. Namaste, Warriors. It's never goodbye. Jesse, what are you doing today? We're going to skydive today. We're going to skydive. Leap of Leap of faith. Hey, that's what this is. Doing it for the tribe. The that's... warrior tribe. Do you know how high we're going? Did they tell you? 14,500 feet. Close. 14,500 feet. Yep. And then we're going to be right. falling at? A high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're going to be falling very fast. We're going to be falling we're at 100, high. 120 miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay, are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. <laughs> you got my back. Yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know, your TI will have your All back. Right. What All right. made you want to skydive? What, what brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of Facing heights? Facing fear, head on. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying new hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda, and I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways.
create a song I don't wanna miss a beat And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands yeah. What'd you think of that? I loved it! Woo! You know, honestly, I have no idea who won the sword fight, so I guess we'll have to call it a draw. There you go. We'll have to do it again. <laughs> All right, when are you going to get your license now? I'm going to work on it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll well, be back. All Jesse, right. thank you for jumping with us at Scott Up Lone Star. Do you have anything you'd like to mine. say? What an honor. Badass crew. I love it here. The hospitality is just phenomenal. Five stars. If there were 10, I'd give it to you. We'll take 10. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> my brother. Oh, what a fun ride. Wasn't it awesome? Hey, man, glad y'all came out. What an experience. Come and see us again. Thank you.